right, so another example. Uh, physician ordered Pepsid, 25 milligrams, and then we've got PO, which in the last example we found was orally, and TID at means three times per day. Okay, so looking back up on that table with abbreviations, we can figure those out. Um, however, only a vial with a dose strength of 100 milligrams per 15 milliliters is on hand, and we want to figure out how many milliliters we should give to the patient. So the first thing I'm going to look for is what I have on hand, right? That's going to be my conversion factor. So I've got 100 milligrams per 15 milliliters. So I can write that with the milligrams on the top or equivalently I can write the milliliters on the top and the milligrams on the bottom. So, uh, I have the, what's been ordered is the 25 milligrams. So, I'm going to multiply by one of these two things. And so, what am, what am I trying to figure out? Well, I need to know how many milliliters to give. So, I want my milligrams to cancel out, which means which factor do I want to use? Right, I want to use the one with the milligrams on the bottom so that the milligrams will cancel out. All right, and sure enough, these guys cancel out. And so I have 25 times 15 divided by 100, which ends up 3.75. Five, and the milligrams cancel, and all I'm left with is milliliters, and I know I did it right because I've got just the milliliters left, which, I w which is what I wanted. So I need 3.75 milliliters of my 100 milligram per 15 milliliter uh, solution. So that's it. That's all there is to it.